The Memorial Day celebration is an annual highlight at the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial in Oakland. It's a day of remembrance and a time for fun in the sun. Dave Crawley has the story. The Soldiers and Sailors 6th Regiment drums in yet another Memorial Day. Thank you for your service, sir. We truly appreciate it. A refrain heard often in a place where old soldiers don't just fade away. The Soldiers and Sailors celebration is the first such event for Mary Minnick's grandson, Leon Abram. My grandson's father served in Afghanistan, and they named him after one of Jason's friends who has passed away, Abram Howard. He and, died um, in Afghanistan? He did. Visitors stop at exhibits old and new. This is a new exhibit we're calling Rally Round the Flag. It gives us a chance to show off some of the great flags we have in our collection. Curator Mike Krause says 14 flags were chosen to mark significant events in our military history. The oldest is our Civil War flag. This is a brigade flag. It was used at Gettysburg and Spotsylvania. And you see the holes in it. Those aren't moth holes. Those are bullet holes. Hot sun and t-shirts, the quintessential Memorial Day. For kids, the annual event at Soldiers and Sailors is the ultimate picnic. While most Pittsburghers are thinking of the Stanley Cup, a big golf tournament is coming to Oakmont next month. And visitors here find that it's par for the course to get a photo taken by the U.S. Open trophy. But veterans are the real stars here. World War II vet Robert Gale is modest about his generation. We were not part of the greatest generation. We were part of a challenged generation. And today, if real trouble emerged, plenty of people, men and women, would become our own great generation. Dave Crawley, KDKA, TV News.